Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a knitted Barbie dress and we're going to start that in just a moment. Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a knitted Barbie dress. You're going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet, or sorry, knitting needles. I am using bamboo needles. I can put a link for them in the description. I just love these. They're nice and short, so I'm not clicking on my furniture all the time. We are also using a Burnett Softy Baby Yarn. It is a three ply lightweight yarn. And let's get started. So we're gonna start today by making a slip knot. So here's how I make a slip knot. I cross my yarn with my tail being at the back. Where I crossed it, I hold it. I go around my thumb and I'm pulling that tail through the loop I made around my thumb and that gives me a slip knot. If you have another way of making a slip knot, by all means, use it. But this is how I make mine. So for this sweater, we are gonna cast on 28 stitches. So to do a cast on, you go into that slip knot, yarn over, pull through, and you're gonna pop it on your needle. So then you go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pop it on the needle. For the next stitch, you go through, yarn over, pull through, pop it on the needle. Do this until you have 28 and meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 28 stitches for cast on. So now what we're gonna do for the next four rows, you are gonna knit. So to knit, you go into your stitch, yarn over, pull through, pop that stitch off. You're going to the next one, yarn over, pull through, pop that stitch off. This is the basic knit stitch. You're gonna do this all across the stitches for four rows. This is counting as row one. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so now this is the base part of our Barbie dress. So what we're gonna do now, this is just the bottom to make it so it doesn't curl up. What we're gonna do now is the pattern. This is a four row pattern. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do knit two, and then we're gonna do purl two. So yarn to the front for a purl, go into the stitch, around the needle, pull through, pop off into the stitch, yarn around, pull through the stitch, pop off. Now we're gonna do a knit again, so you've gotta move that yarn to the back, and we're gonna do two knit. And then we're gonna move to the front, and we're gonna do two purl. We're gonna do this for two rows, okay? And then for the next two rows, you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna start with two purl, and then you're gonna do two knit, okay? So I'm gonna write it on the screen right up here so that you know where to look for this information. And I want you to do these four rows until you've got, including from the beginning, about six inches worth of worked material, okay? So we're starting with two knit, two purl for two rows, and then we're doing two purl, two knit for two rows. And we're gonna repeat that until it measures six inches. So do that and meet me back. So I've got my six inches from the beginning and look at this guys, isn't that nice? I just love the texture and it is reversible as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do straight knit like we did at the bottom for two rows, okay? So straight knit for two rows, just a refresher. We are going to go into the stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and repeat for two rows, then meet me back. So we've done two rows of knit, and now here's what we're gonna do. Okay, this is our, probably the most complicated row, this row and the next row. So we are gonna knit four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna knit two more, and I'm, I'm counting them out this way for a certain reason. Now we're gonna take that first one and put it over the second after the four, right? So we did the four, we moved those, we knitted two, we put one over the other. We're gonna cast off six. So that was one cast off, two cast off, three cast off, four cast off, Five cast off, six cast off. Okay, now this counts as your first knit. So let's see, we're gonna do four, we're gonna cast off six, two, four, six, and then we have two, four, six, seven. So we're gonna knit eight. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then we are going to cast off six again. So you knit the first one, you knit the second one, and then you bring that first one over top which is casting off. There we go. So we cast off one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six. And then you already have that first one on there, and then we're going to knit to the end. So there we go. So what we have done in essence is we have made our armholes. So now here's what we're going to do. Turn your work, and I want you to knit those four. One, two, three, four. Now you have your space. We're gonna turn our work again. We're gonna make sure our working yarn is on the back, okay? And we are gonna cast on 10 stitches, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. And you're probably saying to yourself, okay, Monique, why am I casting on ten when I only cast it off six? And this is just going to give you a little bit of a sleeve. You're going to turn your work again. Make sure that working yarn is at the back. And now we're gonna work across those eight stitches for the neck. One, just in knit, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Sorry guys, I hit my camera. Turn your work, make sure that working yarn is at the back. And you're going to cast on 10 more stitches. This is to make the other strap for your arms. So one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn your work. Don't drop any stitches. Make sure that working yarn is at the back of your needle. And then... We are going to work, knit through the rest of those stitches. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get you to knit across all those stitches, just basic knit, and then meet me back. Okay. So I did that. I did the one knit across. Now we are going to cast off completely. So, oops, sorry guys, hit the camera. You are going to knit two and put one over the other, just like we did before. And you're going to do that all across the row. And this is how we cast off. So guys, if you find that this video has been good to you and you really enjoyed this nice knitted Barbie dress, please take the time to hit that like button. It helps me grow my channel. It helps me get my videos out to more people. And you know, ooh, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> um, and it gets my videos out to more people. You know, it's just, it really helps me out. So if you could do that, that would be wonderful. If you're not a subscriber and you want to sub subscribe, be sure to do that too. I try and do new videos every Thursday. The other thing is, guys, I love to know where everyone is watching from. You know, like I have some people that watch me from Ireland and some people from the States. Um, a lot of my Canadian folks are watching as well. And it just always thrills me to see how far of a reach my little videos have. You know, the whole reason I started this channel at the one time was so I could just um, remember all the different kinds of um, dresses and things I've made over the years because I make up most of my patterns. So I've ne there's been years and years where I've never made the same thing twice. So that's where the inspiration for the channel came from. Because then I was like, you know, if ever someone says, can you make me a, a Barbie dress again? Just like the one, but in a different color. I actually have a record of what the heck I did. So anyway, that's a little bit about me and a little bit more about me. If you're one of my little gems, you already know that. But for those new people watching, thought I'd share. So we're just casting off until the end of this. And then we're going to sew up the dress to just an inch below the top. And then that's where we will stop 
and you can sew on your snap. Or if you want, you can glue on some Velcro, whichever works for you. Um, or you could sew on the Velcro. I don't often sew on Velcro. I prefer snaps. Most people can, most kids can work snaps. So that's what I go with those sew on snaps that you can buy. I'll show you once I'm done this row. But uh, yeah, and you know, make a whole bunch of these all different colors. The kids will love them. If you're a collector of fashion dolls, Barbie dolls, Judy, Skipper, any of those, these fit all of them. So, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors. We're gonna cut this. You don't have to leave a very long tail. You're just gonna weave it into your stitches. So we take our tail, put it through. Now, this is reversible. So it doesn't matter how you sew it up, but you're gonna take that tail from the beginning and you're gonna sew it up until you're one inch from the top. Okay, so I just do a whip stitch until you're one inch from the top and then you snow, sew on your snap. You snow on your snap. You sew on your snap. And that's it, guys. And there you have it. You have a cute little Barbie dress. So I'll show you a picture at the end of this of the dress on a Barbie. And uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You have a great day. Bye now.